what a liar dude i'm literally gonna do like i'm gonna do a video like this where it's like it's time for me to tell my truth it's time for me to tell my truth my side of the story my side of the bargain okay exposed you know like twit longer style i'm sick and tired of this beautiful haired man okay yeah break. i'm i'm breaking the silence okay ludwig finally put hassan in the thumbnail i'll pay you back the streamer stole my money so i exposed him Big test this guy, bro. 317,000 views. All based around a lie. Ludwig really hit us on with the I am not your friend, not even 10 seconds in. The moral of the story, poor people should not pay for everyone's awesome. meals and drinks. Do people think Ludwig is poor? Wait, for real. Like, do they think Ludwig is poor or something? No shot, right? He's like misgive. No shot do they think Ludwig is poor. Truly disgusting that some streamers would do this terrible thing. EJ bringing out the most expensive wine to Hassan, knowing the ramifications it would have on Ludwig. How are you missing the joke? Hassan Madge. Can I get a Hassan Madge in the done. chat one time for the one? Ew, yuck. Ew, Hassan. Gross. This guy, Hassan, has been dogging me. Endlessly dogging me. Oh, Ludwig, when are we gonna hang out, bro? You gonna cut me out of more thumbnails? Ugh, all you care about is business. To which I reply, right. yes, bitch. We are co-workers. I will use you and abuse you. I will not hang out with you offline. But recently, he's been tickling my fancy a little bit more. He let me borrow his necklace and his rings, and I felt, you know what? I'm I'm gonna hang out with Hassan. Let's Let's hang out with Hassan. I had a planned dinner. This was last and night the the with the man known the as Jay. Woods, Jay, the K-pop star. Jay from Day6. Yeah, I, I wanted to meet Jay because we had passed. He was at the offline TV house when I was recording a podcast there. And we had, like, you know, had some pleasantries. And, and I just, you know, I, I, I like got his number. And I was like, hey, like, let me know if you want to hang out. Because uh, he's going back to Korea. And I was like, hey, let's, let's hang out. Let's hang out before you go back, you know? And he was like, yeah, bet. So, so this is where this all spawned. But it became a much larger event. And so it was me and Jay, and it kind of expanded because Myth also asked me to dinner. And I said, hey, why not just, let's just marry the ideas. Let's do dinner. And it I knew that this was going to, when I, when I, first of all, I just got to say food was incredible. When I first ordered an expensive drink, or not ordered, but, you know, he, he'll get to it. But when I first ordered it, I knew in the back of my mind that he was going to make content out of this. Like, I just knew. It ended up being a, a much larger dinner. It was me, Jay, feels Myth, good man. Lena, Cutie, Maya, Connor, and of course, Hassan. I invited him. I reached out directly to Hassan. I said, hey, come to dinner. Come to dinner. It's on me. I said this to everybody. It's on me. And I have this dinner spot. It's this really nice five-star, beautiful Japanese restaurant. I'm not going to leave. Wait, it's, it's not even new content. He stole it from Cutie and Maya's new podcast? Hey are going to dinner tonight with some people and you know who they are i'm gonna be drunk i'm gonna be the only person that shows up drunk i am a drink to like a networking <laughs> dinner no it's not networking it's just friends okay but i'm saying that because who is your least favorite person going to dinner? my least favorite person going to dinner tonight it's probably you <laughs> you realize hassan is going to dinner oh god that guy. No, he wears the Alveus beanie. So Aww, he's, he's that's good in, sweet of he's him. He's good in my butt. But if he didn't, he would be my least favorite. I understand. That's understandable. What the? F I came up with this new idea. No, actually, he did like the tweet today, so he's back up there. He's uh, back. Hassan is actually very supportive. What the f is going on? A zombie coming to the doorman. The Twitch community again shaking my head. What the f is this, dude? I'm literally getting caught. I'm I'm just getting strays, dude. I'm just babies. catching strays it's left and right. Sad. What the? What did you do, bro? I don't know. It's because it's, you know, this is my spot. Okay, I don't want to blow up this spot. I don't want to go all uh, Lenny Kravitz, Spago style and have people walking in being like, can I get the Ludwig? Like, hey, I'm trying to keep this to me right now. This is it's a really good spot. My spot. Except no one's going to go there because it's like 7 million miles away from. Let me just tell you guys something. Okay, I'm not going to leak the spot, but I will tell you this. When Ludwig invites you at the dinner, he literally messages you saying look it's very far okay he messages you saying like you want to come to dinner it's gonna be far and when i thought he meant far like oh you know it's los angeles you drive for like 15 20 minutes no he means like it's in a it's in a different state okay it's in a different Can state dude for this crime? it's basically nevada okay he was like hey i got a new spot want to come dinner's on me I say i love free dinner let's do it i'm gonna boom you
I'm gonna boom you if you make me go all the way out there. Nevada, dude, basically. It's, and it's a it's a bit out of the way. You know, it's not it's not necessarily in the heart of LA. It's a little bit out of the way. And so I'm messaging. It was literally a with no traffic, all on the highways, 45 minute drive. Okay, 45 minute drive with just all the highways, no traffic. Hassan, and I'm just gonna read a few excerpts here because I think they're they're fun little tidbits of information. So I ask him to go to dinner, and we're talking about it, and then he hits me up, and he says, "Oh, dude, this is so far, 30 minutes away from him." He goes, "Oh, 45." Oh, this is so no, more than that. Far. This is taking up my Elden Ring time. To which I reply, bro, you're not a gamer. Stop pretending. Then he goes, I am literally gaming right now. I hit him with the monocle emoji. And I say, who asked? He does not reply to that. <laughs> Follows up with another text when he gets in the car. He goes, bro, it's 30 minutes away. This is a lie. It's not 30 minutes away. It's wait, 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 wait. Let me look at the let me look at the text message. Yo. Did I actually say 30? Because he's like reading. Dude, he's such a liar. I literally said, bro, it's 40 minutes away. OMG. He's reading it. He's inappropriately stating it's 30 minutes away. It wasn't even 40 minutes away. It was actually ended up being 50 minutes away. Oh, what a liar, dude. He's trying to make himself sound. More reasonable with this track. If it was 30 minutes away, that would absolutely. If it was 30 minutes away, I'd be like, okay, like, that's fair. But 40? 40 minutes. That's touch and go. Okay. And then it turns into 50 when you get on the road. Guess who showed up 10 minutes late to dinner? Anyway, he arrives as everybody else does. And I give. I was. It wasn't even my car. I was carpooling with myth. Give him a gift. A gift, a shirt, all right? It's a shirt, and I and I can promise you it's a shirt specifically for Hassan because it was a 2XL, a 2XL t-shirt from one of, his, one of his favorite shirt spots um, in LA. And I and I got it for him, and I gave him the gift, and he was like, oh, great. We hugged. Everybody sat down. Dinner started. Great dinner start. You know, it's this is the same exact— I'm literally going to do, like, I'm going to do a video like this where it's like, it's time for me to tell my truth. It's time for me to tell my truth, my side of the story, my side of the bargain, okay? Exposed, you know, like twit longer style. I'm sick and tired of this beautiful haired man, like okay? You just want rockstar developers to be worked to the bone for your enjoyment. Yeah, break. I'm, I'm breaking the silence, okay? First of all, 50 minute drive in the end, thought it, it like on Google Maps, it said like 40, to, I think it was like 45 minutes or 47 minutes or whatever, it doesn't matter. Ended up being 50. We show up, we show up. We are late. That's true. Because it's very far away. He gives me this t-shirt. Top of the hour ad breaks. And my day. immediate reaction is, it's from Reconstruct. I'm like, oh my god. Did you go to Reconstruct without telling me? Like, why wouldn't you hit me up if you were in Los Angeles? That's what I thought. Because I care about friendship. Okay? I care about friendship. Immediately, the first thing I say is, you went to Los Angeles without me? Like, you came into town without me? Without telling me? Like, why wouldn't you let me know? I would have... Love to hang out. I consider you a friend. That's what I said. That's place that I went to from the story that I told on stream about me and Cutie and the guy, the waiter who is the Pokey fan. Do you guys Has remember it. that story? Same place. Same place. I love that spot. The waiter there, he's hype. His name's TJ. We're he's right. TJ is dope. That spot is great. Great pals. I DM TJ from time to time. And so dinner starts, and it starts out good because TJ, the homie, you know, he hit, he hooks me up with a with a big old bottle of sake, but not like that one cup sake that Chris Broad drinks before he poisons himself and in, in films a video, like sake that tastes good, which is not a thing that I knew existed before I had the sake here. Okay, are we really gonna rag me for not going sake? So <laughs> Ludwig doesn't scam or exaggerate ever, dude. Your credibility is crumbling. It's over. Yeah, I'm I'm being ripped apart right now. Okay, so is it sake? So sake, sake, sumimasen, America gin des, gaijin in the house. Anyway, we're sucking down delicious sake. Everybody's having a good time. I'm shooting the shit with Jay. We're all chatting, chitting even. And then TJ, the waiter, comes over and he's like, hey, who wants some drinks? And Jay's like, 
bro, let's get nuts. Like, let's go crazy. Let's go stupid. I'm like, hell yeah, let's go nuts. Let's go stupid. Connor's like, hell yeah, let's go nuts, go stupid. Maya's like, I'm already drunk. <laughs> I had a half bottle of wine and Cutie didn't even drink. <laughs> Thanks, Maya. Who asked? So we order our drinks. All right, <laughs> we have the round of sock, 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 sock sake. We have a round of sake. And, uh, and I'm ordering, I'm ordering like a, a, whis a whiskey mixed drink. And I'm going to explain something that is really, really needless information. It's unnecessary information to know, but I'll explain this to you. And maybe this will come up later in your life. There's a brand known as Suntory. It's a Japanese whiskey brand. They have two types of uh, different brands under them. Kind of like Bud Light, Budweiser. They're both owned by Anheuser-Busch. Anheuser-Busch sells Bud Light and Budweiser. Suntory is Anheuser-Busch, a whiskey Japanese brand. They sell Toki and they sell Hibiki. Toki is like, you know, the poorer thing, the, the less thing that you put in the mixed drink. Habiki is something that you drink straight up. And then there's like different levels below that, you know, and it's like, oh, you get an older one, yada, 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 who cares? I decided to go a little fancy. This is all pretext to tell wow. you that I said, hey, for these mixed drink, I pulled TJ. I was like, hey, for these mixed drink, put some Habiki in it. TJ says this, Habiki 30. This is a $500 version of Hibiki because it's 30 years old. They bottled this before I was born in 1991. I say, you are fucking smoking reefer. No, just give me like the regular Hibiki. No, no, I'm sorry. It is not $500 per bottle. It is $500 per ounce. Yeah, he sh he's right. It, was, it wasn't even that. It was more than that. The ones that he brought up. Okay. Does that, <laughs> does that give you a little bit of a picture? It is $500 per ounce ounce <clears throat> the entire tray is a hundred thousand dollars he's right about that but what he's wrong about is that i asked i told tj i said tj that man over there across the room okay across the table sitting furthest away from me is paying for this meal i said tj light me up spoil me i want to break the bank okay I want to get back at him for reimbursing me or not reimbursing me. Okay. Just kidding. Cutie did actually reach out to try and reimburse me. I was like, no, that's ridiculous. But that's besides the point. Anyway, to be fair, I want to make his pockets hurt. So TJ comes out with a tray. He's right. The tray is $100,000. I thought we were going to have, like, he was going to show me like a whiskey drink that's like $100 max per shot. Okay. I thought, oh, like, you know, we're, I'm gonna, you know, haha, this will be a funny video. Like, oh, Hassan f***ed me over, whatever. I was thinking, like, he'll make content out of this. The f alcoholic beverages that he brought, the minimum price on the tray per ounce was $300. The minimum. That was the cheap one. The one he pointed to was $900. There were three bottles that were worth $900 per ounce, and one bottle that was $300, I was like, no shot, not happening. I cannot do that. I just, I can't. Okay. He had a tray of alcohol with three glasses, three bottles. That was $100,000. Something that if he walked to the back and tripped and fell and all the glasses shattered everywhere, he would have to work for two years to pay it back. That's how expensive it is. How much does Ludwig think uh, waiters are making, by the way? <laughs> oh, Lud. Lud thinks waiters are making 50K a year. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's crazy. That is a crazy amount of money for alcohol. And if you remember the story from last time, I had tried just an ounce of the Hibiki 30. I went a little bougie with it. I found that I... Top of the hour ad break is gifted 10 gifted subs. Thank you, top of the hour ad break. Uh, you're, I think at this point, it's like, it's become ridiculous, okay? We've, we've gotten to a point where you're like, okay, you just, I'll give it to you, okay? Thank you, top of the, <coughs> thank you, top of the hour ad break for allowing subscribing for free 10 people from, uh, you know, seeing the ads by uh, gifting 10 people a subscription. You can also... No longer see the ads as long as you subscribe. If you want to add free broadcasting experience, you can subscribe for $5 or you can subscribe for free or you can sit here and wait for another gift or like top of the hour ad. But it is what it is. Uh, Twitch Prime is free though. Here's the woman ad break now. It may, it may, it may basically a frat boy.
still in a 26 year old man's body. And I'm happy drinking broke stuff because I don't taste the difference. I don't know what the hell I feel like rich people are faking it. I can't tell the difference between a 30 year and then like a zero year, a $500 ounce of alcohol. And then like a $30 ounce of alcohol or a $10 ounce of alcohol. I really can't tell. So I say, you know, but just to be a little fancy, I tell TJ, Hey, for these mixed drinks, I'm get, I'm ordering for everyone. I'm ordering for like myth, Connor, Jay. I say, Hey, can, can you do the Hibiki instead of the Toki? Again, a slightly fancier. I'm talking the difference of like $15, 15, like nothing crazy. He goes, okay, okay, okay. This is on my side of the table. Other side of the table, it's eight people. It's long. Hassan. And he goes over and Hassan goes, hey, hey, hey. He does this, garçon. Garçon. I That's see not what restaurant, I... Not France. He goes, oh. I would never do that. I would never in a million years do that. Oh my God. Luckily, you have seen me on live streams be very cordial and very kind to people that work in restaurants. So... You know that that's not true. Kosan, uh, Dosan. TJ comes over, rolls his eyes. He's from LA. Hey, um, what do you want? Hassle, What's hassle, over? hassle. Uh, what do you got? Not listening to anything that TJ said. TJ then brings out the one hundred thousand dollar three bottle display. He goes, "We have the Yamazaki twenty five year aged whiskey." This is from the Miyazaki Prefecture in Japan. This is the 30-year Hibiki. Now, this is from a little-known town outside of Tokyo known as Sendai. And then finally over here, we have the Toki. The son looks, stares at the alcohol, looks over Three at months. me, I've got stares over the alcohol, you, and he out. goes, what's the fancy shit? And he goes, oh, sir. The Yamazaki would be your choice then. It's $900 per ounce. Yeah. Hassan gets the biggest shit-eating grin on his face. Like a kid just sitting on Santa's lap. And he goes, <laughs> is it? 900 Looks over at me. Looks at the alcohol. Looks over at me. Like Batman trying to pick between Harvey Dent and then the girl. And he says this, uh, I'm not going to f*** you. I wipe a little sweat off my brow. I go, I wasn't even nervous. <laughs> Me? <laughs> About five minutes pass. TJ comes out with the drinks. I get my mixed drink. It's like honey whiskey. Jay gets his drink. Myth gets his drink. Yada, yada, yada. It's all being laid out. Hassan gets a weird looking chalice. It almost looks like a goblet. And he just has it set right in front of him. And I go, what? What is it? what's that? And he looks over and he's like, almost like it was not even worth talking about as news. He goes, oh yeah, I just got like a $300 whiskey shot. <laughs> you what? <laughs> yeah, I decided to just get, I just got the Hibiki. I was like, <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I'll just reimburse you later for it. Don't worry about it, man. I never said that. No, that's a bullshit. I said, you. Listen, there is nothing more socialist than the Mr. Mogul moves, okay? Hit him in his pocketbook. And if you want to do that to me, that's also understandable. It's called make the rich pay, baby. Let's go. That's right. Mogul moves. That's the real mogul moves. Make his pockets hurt, dude. He orders the most expensive whiskey. One of the, like, the top three. That's not true. That's not true. Could have ordered. Him not f***ing me was getting the third most expensive alcohol that instead is of the first or the second. That's him not f***ing me. Maybe it's not f***ing me, but by God, you did blow me. We're basically there. This is the soaking of Maybe God doesn't see it as sex, but but by Lord, if I'm looking at these Mormons, I'm saying that's what sex is. And he's going, now nah, it's soaking. doesn't count. I didn't f*** you. I'm just soaking this whiskey. So, he gets the whiskey. <laughs> dinner continues. It's a phenomenal dinner, by the way. I could never complain about the food of this place. It's delicious food. You know, and Cutie and Maya had just come off the podcast Missed that the they have now. Wine about it.
and they were talking about a few things with the table and Lena, and they're talking about the conversation of <laughs> the conversation. Oh which no! Is a very difficult and somewhat complicated conversation of the harassment of women came up for the next thirty minutes straight. Hassle, it hassle. was Hassan basically going debate mode with Maya and Cutie talking about women on Twitch with Myth and Connor chiming in, just kind of rephrasing what Cutie and Maya had said. And then me and Jay just looking at them going like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> OMG, am I going to get That's true. He got 30 minutes, he got stunlocked. He got stunlocked. I think I heard the phrase. This part, this is the only part of the entire story time that he went into that was 1,000% accurate. 1,000%. I support sex workers 18 times. <laughs> I was like, bro, what are we recording a podcast here? What's going on? No, we were talking about hot tub streamers. And I was talking about how it's the classic. It's the same stuff that I've said on stream that, uh, like, I think that, you know, Amaranth and everyone else are like habitual, uh, like rule line steppers, which is bad. And that's annoying. But ultimately, I don't think that. Uh, I don't think that it's like them being on the platform that creates misogyny and rather that misogyny exists and the way to tackle that problem is not by like banning them or anything like that, uh, but rather by, you know, attacking the misogynist and that it's just content and that misogyny has existed before hot tub streamers and will continue to exist after hot tub streamers, no matter what. And that's what I was saying. And I was even saying that like they themselves are also victims of that same kind of misogyny. On. Where's Destiny so I know what to have a take on? I, I don't know. I don't have my own take. I, need, <laughs> oh I, I don't know these things. Jesus Christ. All I need to do is like, react to unusual memes. Please give me an opposing opinion here. <laughs> We're stuck there. We're stuck there for like 30 minutes. And that's and that's that's the dinner. That's that's the most of it. I have a great time. Jay's great. Hassan, also great. Mostly just ragging on him. Gets to the end of the night. Kind of whittles down. Sam Saracen. The Sam the Saracen, thank you for the five the subs. Hassan's yeah. Blood Boy, thank you for the five with the subs. It's a set course. It's not a cheap restaurant by any means. Chat guess. Two months. Thanks, Spanish. I don't know how much Good it costs. Good old-fashioned Reggie Bush, $2,200. Oh, that's not that bad. I thought it was going to be way more expensive. <laughs> I looked at it. I was like, bro, this is rent. <laughs> this is not food. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, dude. And that's not, it's like... We went to a very nice restaurant, so I thought it was going to be worse than that. Very nice restaurant and like eight people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Very nice restaurant with eight people. Let me tell you, you know how, yeah, that's like, that's ridiculous. Ludwig does not pay rent. Okay. Chill out, Ludwig. Um, don't flex on chat, dude. What? No, no. That's like, what, what, do you want me to lie to you and act like people like myself and people like Ludwig are stressing this. over paying 20, 2200 for a meal? If I do that, then you're going to say I'm LARPing as a poor person. There's no winning. Like, I'm being honest with you. I'm being painfully honest with you. Holy shit. I'm like, that's not super significant for like a very nice restaurant where he's paying for eight people's meals and you're like, oh my God, you're fucking flexing. And then if I'm like, if I were to be like, yeah, that's... No, it's a lot of money, obviously. I have an eight-person family that goes out to normal places that run up the bill that much. What? what? It's, it's ridiculous. No, there was no sushi. Uh, it was all meat, which I mm, love, okay? All meat. I mean, I'll give you context for, like, how fancy it is. Like, the first thing that they brought in, it was, like, on a little spoon. It was, like, tartare, but it was, like, Wagyu tartare with a little baby piece of truffle on it. It's on positivity week canceled. Oh, so you got the hunter's harvest. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. This is rent. I did not realize that so quadrupling the say. amount of people also quadruples the size of the bill. That's not nothing. That's rent. That's literally rent. You understand <sighs> right now. Look, I know how much money I make. I've expressed it to you guys, but I don't like to spend my money usually on things like He's right though. I mean, and I'm, I'm the same way too. Like, it's just, well, actually that's not true. The one thing that I don't mind, uh, spending money on at all. Like I, I don't mind spending money on stuff that's like stream related, obviously. Okay. If I need a new computer. I'm going to buy it or get Linus to build it. <laughs> or if I, uh, you know, if I, if I need like a new computer chair, microphone, stuff like that, easy. 
not a big deal. But the other thing, uh, the other thing I don't mind spending money on is like, if I'm taking my friends out to dinner, you know, is that's awesome. That's like kind of why we do this. You know what I mean? Like the best thing is like that. I'm wearing a free shirt that I got from team liquid. And these, if you guys haven't noticed yet are Taco Bell sponsored shorts. So anyway, if you guys see Hassan, just let him know he has to reimburse me. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I just dick. dropped a tweet. Hold up, I tweeted out the picture. <laughs> Worth every penny, baby. Hassan not cropped out. Let me put this in the YouTube video and just make the thumbnail Hassan. You should have cropped me out of this one, dude. You didn't buy the mic? It was a gift from Pokemane? Don't lie to chat. Okay, this microphone was not a gift from Pokey. Notice how it doesn't have Hasanabi uh, engraved on the side? It's because I bought this one because I bought another, I bought a second SM7B so that I could have like guests over and stuff. We're still building the studio. Spend money on things that will leave you with memories. Yeah, I mean, especially with like friends and family, it's the best thing. This whole video was just a humble brag. No, he's just making content out of it. Chill the fuck out. What is this? You did let it go. No, place myself in the middle so I wouldn't get cropped. Damn, that's like decent Photoshop. Billy D using you for clickbait. I love you, H. Sam. <laughs> Alright, you throw away the gift Pokemon gave you, left this gift receiving? No. Still looking forward to the kitchen cam. Anyway, back to okay, buddy. You watch Tom for politics, I watch for Cussy. We are not the same. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>